Hello, and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Maribel, and last week I did show you guys my new pet. His name is Toothless. He's a salamander. If you want to go check out that video, it will be linked down below, or I will have a little card here in the little section, whatever this, it'll pop up over here. If you want to go see that, you should, because he's adorable. This video is going to be about how I made his little terrarium, paladarium, pal Paladarium? Palad hold on. Paladarium. Yeah, no, I was right. Yes, paladarium. If you don't know, a paladarium is half terrarium, half aquarium. I don't have any living animals in the water just yet, but I did put water in there. So if there's half water, half land, it's a paladarium. That's what I built for him, and that's what you saw in the last episode, but I didn't show you how I built it. It was just an introduction to Toothless. And so this one is going to show you how I made it. So if you guys want to see that, stick around. Here we go, starting from the beginning. So this was a tank that I was given as a gift. And it had, it was obviously, it was used before. They had some kind of lizard, I don't remember what kind. And they had built the tank according to its needs. Um, they took out most of the stuff. But the caulk, I wanted to take all out because I wasn't sure if it was going to be toxic or not. Eventually, I did find out that it was an aquarium-safe silicone, and I don't even think I had to go through all of that work. Sometime in the future, I do want to make it a little bit more elaborate than it is now, so that extra caulk probably would have come in handy. So here I am trying to rip out this caulk, which it wasn't that difficult. I mean, it could have been worse, honestly, but I did not have the right tools. Next time, I think I'm just going to use like one of those blade scraper things. That's the big old pile that I ended up collecting. I have no idea why I have this shot in here. For the base, I wanted to do rocks. I was doing a lot of research and a lot of people put rocks on the bottom and then they would put the dirt on top of that and then they would decorate on top of that. So that's what I wanted to do. That way the water wasn't mixing too much with the soil but there was still water going through to the soil. That way it was still moist. And then I had to put in this little plate. Well, I mean, technically I didn't have to but I also watched someone else who built a tank for their salamander and they had like a little dry spot just in case they wanted that option. So I decided to create a dry spot for him also. He never uses it. <laughs> um, since the time that you saw him go in to the time now, he has not touched that area. So I have taken it out because I am currently building a new one. I'm building it so that it's up higher so we can I can utilize the base better and actually put some fish down in there. And we're just decorating his space now putting a little lid on top, making it into kind of like a cave situation. That way he can go in there and feel like he's hiding. But again, he never used it. <laughs> and then I was trying to make him another kind of like cave situation. Um, he ended up using that at one point. You'll see it at the end, him crawl over there. But he ends up digging a hole again and kind of get to staying in there for a really long time. You know, honestly, I think that this came out really nice. It's really cute and stuff. All right, so I took Toothless out of his hole. <laughs> um, this is day two, I think, of, of him being in his um, little aquarium. I decided to take him out because I didn't want him hiding that well because it kind of just freaks me out. I don't know. If he's still in there, I don't know what he's doing. I don't know if he's eating. Like, I put food next to it, but, you know, they're live. They're live worms. So maybe they're running away and hiding in the dirt. I have no idea. So I took him out. Um, where he's going right now is a different rock area that I have created for him. But I'm hoping that this one doesn't do... Or like this area doesn't 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 hide him as well as the one before because like I said, I wanna be able to keep an eye on him still. 
he really likes to hide. He will hide for a few days. Aw oh, man, I think he's digging. <laughs> Dang it! But he really likes to hide, and he'll hide for a few days, and I just get worried and paranoid that he either got out or something ate him, because, you know, I have pets. I have other pets that can get in there. And I just, I just want to be able to keep an eye on my pet. <laughs> All right, so since that update, I have taken some things out. I have moved some things around. You are not seeing that today because that is going, that's, that's part of the process of another video that I want to do later, way later because it's still in the works, where I am building him a new paludarium and I want to add some fish and some possibly some snails and shrimp. I, I kind of want to build it so that it's closer to him living outdoors. Anyways, that's really it. That's all I have for you guys today. I'm sorry it's not like a super exciting video. As I was putting this together, I realized there's not much happening. <laughs> so hopefully maybe next week will be better. I'm hoping that next week I can get out the video on how I drew Toothless as like a little chibi salamander because he's friggin adorable and he's got major big eyes. If you haven't seen it yet, it is on my Instagram. So follow me on there so you can see his cute little chibi face. <laughs> well, hopefully you guys like this video. Give me a big thumbs up if you did and subscribe to this channel. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>